Hello guys. Good morning all. So in today's video, let us discuss about the Stokes theorem as well as Green theorem. So Stokes theorem. Stokes theorem says that the line integral of vector field A. I am writing the line integral of vector field A. What will be it? Integral A dot DL. We are assuming A as the vector. Integral A dot DL. So around a closed curve. So he is saying closed curve. Around a closed curve is equal to surface integral of curl A. First I am writing curl A. How we will write curl A? Del cross A. This is nothing but the curl A. Okay. So the surface integral. We are saying the surface integral. Let us write the surface integral of curl A taken over the surface. Yes. Surrounded by closed curve. Taken over the surface. Yes. Surrounded by closed curve. So mathematically it is written as integral a dot dl is equal to surface integral del cross a ds. Now let us take some surface s I took. Now this surface is surrounded by some closed curve in such a way. Right? This surface is surrounded by the closed curve in such a way. Let it be c. Now what he is saying? The line integral of vector field A around the closed curve is equal to the surface integral of curl of A taken over the surfaces surrounded by the closed curve. Now to let us go for the proof. So now first what we will do means divide Closed surface into large number of square loops into large number of square loops. Right? In such a way. I am dividing the surface into large number of square loops. Now, let A be the vector. Okay, let A be the vector. And the square loops surface, let us assume as ds1, ds2, so on. Okay, the area of these square loops be ds1, ds2, so on up to some dsn. Alright. Now next. If A is the vector. Then let us write the curl. For DS1 area. First I am taking this DS1 area. Alright. Now how we will write the curl. Del cross A. For first surface area. So. The other definition of curl, nothing but line integral per unit area. We know that. Line integral per unit area. So now here, line integral, what we will write? Line integral of vector is A dot DL. And unit area, he said, area of that first uh, square loop which we considered is nothing but ds1. Right? Similarly, let us take the curl for ds2 area. How we will write? Del cross A for second surface, line integral becomes A dot dl for second surface. This is for first surface by area ds2. So on. 
up to n surfaces we are considering right up to n surfaces we are considering ha huh, so now what we will write for n surface del cross an integral n line integral a dot dl by ds n right now add all now what you will get del cross a1 right now just let us change it as del cross a1 ds1 is equal to integral a dot dl for first surface this also del cross a2 ds2 is equal to integral or line integral of second surface similarly this is also del cross an dsn for is equal to line integral of nth square loop surface adding all what we will get del cross a1 ds1 add lhs add rhss first next del cross a2 ds2 plus so on del cross a n dsn that is equal to now add all rhs del a dot sorry dl for first surface a dot dl of second surface so on up to a dot dl of nth surface so now what we will get this if we add it comes as surface integral del cross a dot ds now this all rhs comes as line integral of closed curve a dot dl so this is stokes theorem it says that the line integral of vector field a around a closed curve is equal to the curl of surface integral of curl of a taken over a surface surrounded by the closed curve so this is about stokes theorem okay now green's theorem if psi and psi are two scalar point functions such that these functions and their first derivatives are continuously differentiable in a region bounded by closed surface then we get the two equations one volume integral pi del square psi plus del pi del psi of dv is equal to surface integral pi del psi ds and the next one is volume integral pi del square psi minus psi del square pi dv is equal to surface integral pi del psi minus psi del pi ds so these equations are known as the green's first and second form okay or the first and second form of green's theorem right now next from let us go for proof so from gauss divergence theorem if f is the vector field right assume f as vector field then what we will write volume integral del dot f dv is equal to surface integral f dot ds the gauss divergence theorem now put it as equation 1 now put f is equal to pi del psi right so now here we are putting f equal to pi del psi so before that first 
how we will write f in terms of x, y, z components i fx plus j fy plus k fz is equal to pi. What is the value of dou del operator i dou by dou x plus j dou by dou y plus k dou by dou z into psi. Multiply this with psi. Now what you will get i fx plus j fy plus k fz is equal to pi i dou psi by dou x I am multiplying with psi j dou psi by dou y plus k dou psi by dou z alright so now compare i j k so what you will get fx is equal to here pi is there pi dou psi by dou x fy is equal to pi dou psi by dou y fz is equal to pi dou psi by dou z right now next what is a divergence f or del dot f value how we will write i dou by dou x plus j dou by dou y plus k dou by dou z dot what is the f value i fx plus j fy plus k fz what we will get i dot i1 so dou fx by dou x j dot j equal to 1 dou fy by dou y k dot k equal to 1 dou fz by dou z other will be equal to 0 already we discussed in vector and scalar fields video let's check it so now next here in a del dot f or we can also write it as divergence f right now dou by dou x you substitute fx pi dou psi by dou x plus dou by dou y you substitute fy pi dou psi by dou y plus dou by dou z you substitute fz pi dou psi by dou z right now i've substituted fx fy and fz now next uv method uv dash plus v u dash now what we will get first keep pi constant what you will get what we are having dou by dou x of dou psi by dou x what you will get dou square psi by dou x square dou square psi by dou x square right plus now keep dou psi by dou x constant what you will get dou pi by dou x now uv method we are following dou psi by dou x you keep constant you will get dou pi by dou x one completed right now let us move for the j component same first keep pi constant what you will get dou square psi by dou y square plus next you keep dou psi by dou y constant what you will get dou pi by dou y right similarly i will write this the k component also so now pi what i will get dou square psi by dou y square plus 
again i will keep do psi by do y constant what i will get do pi by do y right similarly the last k component i am writing here i am writing so pi do square psi by do z square plus again i will keep do psi by do z constant then i will get do pi by do z right okay now just let us write it in a systematic manner in such a way that all squares here at one side and other at other side such as here pi here pi here pi i am taking pi as common in these three terms 1 2 3 what i will get do square psi by do x square plus do square psi by do y square plus do square psi by do z square plus all other terms i am writing now do psi by do x do pi by do x right plus do psi by do y do pi by do y plus do psi by do z do pi by do z right now here what you have pi now this is nothing but now i will write this as first pi now i will write as do square by do x square plus do square by do y square plus do square by do z square into psi plus as usual i will write this do psi by do x do pi by do x plus do psi by do y do pi by do y plus do psi by do z do pi by do z right now this bracket term is nothing but del square and psi plus now this is nothing but equivalent to del pi dot del psi right put it as equation 2 okay so now i will substitute these Two in equation one. What is equation one? Our Gauss divergence theorem, right? Shall I write here volume integral v in place of del dot f? What I am writing pi del square psi plus del pi into del psi whole dv is equal to Here, what we are having surface integral f dot ds, surface integral f what I assumed pi del psi in place of f pi del psi of ds. Alright, now put it as equation three. Alright, now this we call it as Green's first theorem. Green's first theorem right now in equation 3 i will interchange pi and psi how means so volume integral psi i will write this side pi i will write this side plus del psi del pi I am interchanging pi and psi is equal to surface integrals instead of pi del psi psi del pi ds. Put it as equation four. Now subtract four from three. LHS LHS RHS RHS. First let us subtract LHS. Right. Now volume integral is common. I am writing volume integral as common. Now what I will get? Four minus three, no? So sorry, three minus four. Let us do. Sorry, three minus four. What is three? Pi del square psi plus del pi del psi. 
राइट माइनस वॉट इज फोर साई डेल पाई प्लस डेल साई डेल पाई होल डी वी इज इक्वल टू ना लेटेस्ट सप्रैक्ट आर एच एस सर्फेस इंटीग्रल आई एम टेकिंग कॉमन पाई डेल साई माइनस साई डेल पाई होल डी एस राइट नाउ हियर वॉट वी विल गेट वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल पाई डेल स्क्वायर साई राइट प्लस डेल पाई डेल साई माइनस डेल पाई डेल साई स्ट्राइक्स ऑफ हियर माइनस इज देर साई डेल पाई होल डी वी इज इक्वल टू सर्फेस इंटीग्रल पाई डेल साई माइनस साई डेल पाई होल डी एस नाउ दिस वी कॉल इट एज ग्रेन्स सेकेंड थीर राइट होप यू अंडरस्टैंड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट गर्ल्स डायवर्जन थीरा नाउ वी कंप्लीटेड स्टोक्स एज वेल एज ग्रीन थीरा सो बाय दिस वी कंप्लीटेड वेक्टर एनालिसिस यूनिट वन सेमिस्टर वन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज शेयर इट सब्सक्राइब इट यूअर्स रेशमा पीपल थैंक यू